It's Rate Watch 2024, June 9th edition. Wow, what a roller coaster. I'll get to this week's rates in a minute, but first, remember last October, 30-year mortgage rates were up to 8.5%, and then late in the year, they started dropping for the first time in a couple of years. All the forecasters said this January that we'd probably see rates in the fives by the end of the year. Whoops! Last month, everyone changed their forecasts and rates were hanging in the 7.5% range for a couple of weeks last month and then they dropped into the sixes. Then a CPI came out showing sticky inflation hanging on and boom, rates went up into the mid sevens again. Yay! In the last couple of weeks, they've been in the low sevens to the high sixes, just bouncing up and down, you know, just to toy with your emotions. It's not fair to toy with people's emotions like that. What? <laughs> What's next? Since I've been selling real estate in the last 30 years or so, you know, every election year has seen interest rates drop dramatically, except for this year. Uh, There's a lot of uncertainty, you know, there's wars and there's uh, a lot of things going on in the world and the upcoming election and inflation and blah, blah, blah. It's a lot. A lot. Like... A lot, a lot. Recently, Fannie Mae and Mortgage Bankers Association, you'll hear them say MBA, have come out and said that they believe rates will come down by a little bit more by the year's end. And that's interesting because last month, they said they wouldn't come down much this year. What will that look like and when? You know, who knows? But I don't see any real changes coming until after the election. But what are the rates this week? The fixed rates are 30-year conforming, they're down to 6.881%. The 30-year range is 6.875 to 7.103. The 30-year jumbo is down to 7.041. The 30-day range on that is 741 to 72-something. And the 15-year conforming is down to 6.249. That 30-day range you see is kind of just right in there. This chart shows the 30-day movement of rates as sort of a, as you can see, it's a bit roller coasty. Well, if you have any questions about this, just leave a comment below or reply back. It's just nothing but fun here trying to figure this stuff out. FYI, when rates drop, they really just go straight down. They go drop a little like this and then back right up. And then they go down a little bit more and then back up it. Just to mess with you. And I don't appreciate it. The Fed have hinted that they may drop the short-term interest rate in September. We'll just have to wait and see about that, too. And that's Rate Watch, June 9, 2024. What is your deal? Say hello to my little friend. <laughs>